In this video, we're going to learn about the paint technique. And to get started, I just wanted to point out, um, I currently in this design have all of the techniques turned on. And because all the techniques are turned on, you can see not only my cutting mat for the cutting machine, but my embroidery hoop. Now, if I go back to this techniques window and turn off all of the techniques except for the paint technique and say OK, you'll notice first of all that my embroidery hoop goes away because the software knows well he's not doing embroidery he just needs his cutting mat because he's doing paint. Now, now that I've turned on only the paint technique anything I create so for example if I grab this polygon tool and left click and drag to create a polygon will automatically be created as a paint with the paint technique. I'll just right click to let go and zoom in to take a look at it so you can see here that we've got the shape um, I can see that it's got a white fill and a black outline and they're both set as um, you know paint elements there's nothing over here in the threads but that's because we turned embroidery off so when we drew this shape the software knew fill it with uh, paint and outline it with paint now you don't have to have so you, we can now customize it right so this is the object properties for the fill and you can see right now that this shape is set with a pen fill drawing fill um, the other options would be zigzag fill and row fill so perhaps if I just change the color I'm gonna to click to red makes it a little bit easier to see versus the white and also notice that we have under our view drop down menu the ability to turn on and off realistic paint so what this does is it it says without realistic paint it kind of just leaves you with the the color behind there but if you turn on the view realistic paint it kind of lets you see what it's gonna look like a little bit more realistically um, so it's set for a fill and right now that fill just sort of goes back and forth and draws in the shape very much like it would in embroidery but just with a pen drawing pen tool. Uh, if you choose that to zigzag it makes the stitches go back and forth more like a zigzag shape and then if we choose row fill it makes it fill in that shape more with a row fill style. Now I guess to really allow you to see the differences I'm going to open up the setting for density. So see here where it says density I can take control of that and choose to make any you know spacing between the lines I want and so by turning that number bigger um, I allow more of the paper or fabric to show through whatever you're drawing on and you can really see now kind of what row fill does it kind of goes around and almost contours around the shape and fills it in in rows so this polygon's kind of a funny shape if I had let's say um, just an oval an ellipse like this and then I selected that with row fill and again the color white's kind of hard to see red and again the density opening up the density allows us to see more of it so you can see what I'm talking about it goes it contours around and the difference being if I go with just a standard fill is that it's gonna fill and again I'll adjust the density just so you can see better it just simply goes back and forth in straight lines and the final option for a fill is going to be zigzag and when I choose zigzag it's gonna go back and forth kinda of like a zigzag embroidery would uh, again I'll adjust the density on that so we can see the difference and so you can see the three different ways of filling in a shape like that uh, similarly for the outline so because we have both a fill color and an outline color if I change to the outline properties you'll see that it's set as a straight line outline and my other option would be to change it to a zigzag you know and when I go to zigzag then you'll see that the outline uh, width becomes relevant so if I change that 0.4 to let's say a two millimeter outline and get closer you'll see that now we're going to draw in this shape with a zigzag fill and a zigzag outline so really it's very much like creating embroidery except for the differences now that I've created these things I could say file and export and choose to send them off to my embroidery or sorry my cutting machine and so I would choose my artistic edge and say connect and so here's my two shapes and it, it allows me to in, interact with them independently in other words I can see the first red the black around it the second red and the black around that and I could select all and have it trim them or you know paint them all at one time uh, or individually so very much like always now yes you can draw your own shapes and for example you can even use lettering so if I wanted to I could just type in the word artistic 
and you could use any font you want and any size embroidery or sorry lettering and paint uh, the point is by default my lettering always comes in white fill black outline and so what we have is white paint and black paint outline and so looking at it um, it's selected and the outline is set as a line and the fill is set as a zigzag and so if we were to look you know paint this you would see the white done as a zigzag and the black done as an outline now maybe you only wanted the white and not the black then you could simply select it and instead of having a black outline just choose the none for the outline and now it will simply draw the paint for the white elements and not the outlines you know or it could be the opposite maybe you want to make it nice and big and you don't want it to fill in but you just want to have an outline around it so you choose none for the fill and black or red or whatever color you want for the outline and now it draws just the outline in paint so that's how paint works now paint is very interactive for example if i say new design right now and i have that paint element or the paint technique turned on and if i say next and then choose some artwork so we can use to browse and you know there's lots of cmx artwork that comes with the software and you can browse through and pick you know any one you want and say open and then next and it'll convert all of the colors that would have been for embroidery in this case they become colors of paint and i'll say finish and you'll see that the design is already ready to go. Now the black fabric makes it kind of hard. Why don't I change my fabric color to be something a little bit lighter? Works a little better. Um, the idea here is all of the elements, if I click on them, see this blue area here is set as a blue fill, no outlines, and it's set with a um, you know standard sort of paint fill. So you have the ability to say, you know what, I think it might be kind of cool to take this light blue area here and change it from, you know, the standard line fill to a row fill. You know, or whatever you want to do. If you want to select part of the design and add an outline to it or whatever. So you have that interaction with your artwork and paint. Um, you can also use existing embroidery designs. And what I've done, I'm just going to say new again. Now, this is the trick of it. If you want to work from an embroidery design and then convert it into paint, you'll need to turn on the embroidery technique. And in fact, I'll just leave it off and show you why. If I say next, select my fabric color and say next, I only have the ability to choose from artwork here. There's no like from embroidery. So I'm just going to go back and turn on that embroidery technique and then go forward and notice now I have from embroidery and so if I choose from embroidery and then browse here on my desktop I have um, a design that I've made in one of my previous classes of some red work ladies at several sizes of the same design and I'll say next and it brings it in as an embroidery design finish as always when you create uh, a new design from embroidery stitches what happens is if I select you know one of these ladies notice that it says this is raw data I can't click on even though the paint techniques are supposed to be available I can't choose it for this you see that if I look yeah paint techniques turned on but yet select this red work lady and it says it's raw data and so this is the trick of it when you have an embroidery design you can choose to use convert to curves and convert to curves basically takes your embroidery stitches and converts them back into artwork which can then be manipulated you know in very much the same way that of the shapes that we create so i'm going to go ahead and say convert to curves and so now you'll notice that it's taken my red brick lady and it's converted her into a run stitch embroidery element but notice now i can also change it to stereo satin serial or in this case i could go with a nice simple paint line and so you take a look at the red brick lady now and instead of embroidery stitches she's a paint line and if i was to say file and export to the cutters and choose my artistic edge and connect you would see that there's the design ready to be drawn as a paint outline versus um, you know embroidery stitches that it originally was so you I could go back and I could convert them all each l sort of red work lady it was like I made for this class I made four sizes of her just to show kind of how much details too much depending on which um, thread you use well you could take the same 
idea and convert all of these red work ladies into curves and set them all up as paint fills and then you know when you drew it all you will be able to see well how much detail looks good with a drawing pen because of course there's different you know once you get over to the artistic edge it has a little holder that can hold and I've used different kinds of pens in the holder whether it be markers or pencils or drawing pens you know there's options so it's very interesting and again once you've converted it to curves it's going to be export to cutters and you connect to your edge or whatever kind of cutter you've got and now I could go ahead and cut out or not cut but draw with the paint technique these red work lady designs so that's how you can use um, the artistic software to create paint designs.